Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can pass a function or event as a prop to functional component in React Native using TypeScript. It's so very, very important to understand how we handle events as a props. That is a you can say backbone of event handling in React Native with TypeScript. So that we are going to learn using functional component in this video. In next video, I will explain in class component also. If you want to use functional component because most of the programmer use only functional component, they can prefer this video. If you like to prefer class component, then you can use class component also. For that, I have this event functional event component here i will use this so in app.tsx you see i am just calling this f event props so here i am passing a one function simple function i will take so i take one function here i say const i give the function name add it's very very simple and i create this arrow function in this arrow function i take uh, here one variable i say let num1 equal to 20 then i say let num2 equal to 40 then i say let sum equal to num1 plus num2 it's a very very simple to understand just concept we have to understand and here i say the toast i say toast android dot show so i import this here so i take here i say toast android that i take here then i say here that toast android dot show here i pass the message i say sum equal to plus i say sum and the second parameter is the duration so i say toast android dot duration is short so that i want to save and i just make it formatting so we have a num2 and we need to use num2 also here now this add function we want to pass as a event okay so suppose this is the component i say here add equal to and here i pass add and i save this you see that after passing this it will generate an error save this and you see that after passing this it will generate an error it's saying that this component we assign a method but it does not exist in a type that means here in this component it is not mentioned that we are going to pass a function as a event or as a property add to this functional component for that what we have to do i have to take one type i say props type and here i declare a function i say add is going to become that is the returning a void remember that this function is going to be return a void value that i am going to do this and i do here a formatting so this prop type so here i have here i have an option to use props type so i can say props props and i say props type like this so i can do like this here i say props like this this is a one way to define a props type otherwise i can also do uh, here i can say f react dot fc and here i can pass the props so i say props type like this so i can i can remove from here also like this way i can say so i can mention like this also you see we define but never we define but never use so we are going to use it so we can define like that also this way or we can define directly also here if i don't use this option so here i am mentioning that property type is this and we are passing this otherwise we can ignore it also in place of that directly we can pass here also prop type and we can remove this option we can remove this one so both are the same but keep this because by default we have like this and i remove it from here so now i have to use this so i am passing a function here so first of all i create a button here in place of text i use button this button i use and here i use button 
and I import this button here I say button I'm importing this and here in this button I pass title so first of all I make it like this simple button type and then here I pass here title and here I say uh, show add show add event okay and I say color of this button is I can say green I save this so you will see that button is coming here show add event so this button is there and uh, for this button we can make some styling also if you want here I can say container and I say the container is I say flex one and I say here uh, justify content equal to center then I say alignment 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 item alignment item to the center also and I just pass this here and I say here a uh, style equal to style dot container save this and uh, we have missing the comma okay so I say like this save this so you see button we have and uh, show add event like this way flex we have and I can give some margin also from the top so I say margin from the top is 40 save this so like this way now I want to call this method which I am passing as a event so I say on press under this on press I say props dot add remember that this function I am calling here add this way I save this and I make formatting also so here props dot add we are passing here and I am passing this function remember that this function is declared in app component and we are passing this component as a event to the property and we are calling it in this functional component like this way if I click on this and you will see that it will display sum equal to 60 why because here is this function I am passing and I am just calling this function from the this app event props component that is a functional component so in this com functional component I am passing this function as a event to this in a property remember that so this function is called event I am passing this event to the functional component as a property I say add and I am calling this here now I want to pass some parameter from this function remember that function is there but I want to pass the parameter from the functional component so here I need to define those parameters so I say uh, num1 is number and num2 is number remember that that we are going to pass so I am just making this deleting I am this so this number is going to become from the component now from this component but it will generate error because it is not matching with the type remember this in this type we do not have any argument so here I have to say that num1 I am going to pass as a number then num2 I am going to pass as a number and these value we are going to pass from here so here when we call so I create a arrow function inside this function I called this and I pass here suppose I say 40 and 40 I am passing I save this remember that in second example of this event passing I am declaring this function with the argument so this add function having these two parameter and return type is void and I am passing this you see that I am passing this here as a parameter remember that now if I click it will display 80 because I am passing 40 40 here if I say here uh, 50 remember I save it and I click here so it will you see display 90 so this information I am passing from this fun functional component and this fu function is calling here because it's declared here I'm passing this add event as a props to this functional component now that first option was without passing any argument in a function and does not return any value now second option is passing some parameters and does not return a value 
Now, third option is when you return some value. So, if you want to return some value, then how you can do this? That is the question now. So, for that, suppose it will display toast also, and I want to return some information. This toast information I want to return also on some places. So, this information I want to return. So, I do here and I say return some. So, I return some equal to this. So, that I want to show. So, I save this. I want to return also. So, for that, I have to mention here that return type is also and that is a string. Remember that I want to return the string. This I want to return. That will generate error here because we do not having this return type mentioned here. So, here I go and I need to pass here that it will return a string. Remember that it will return a string. Now, I save this and you see that it will return a string and it is not generating any error right now but it will generate the error also because i am passing this a return statement and this is the return value that will come a string and here i can call this function on here also and i want to take return value of it then i want to display so i uh, make comment of toast right now because I need to display only that and a return type. So here I take one uh, state variable. I say const and I say result set result use state that I want to take use state that I want to take and here I pass the data type of this. I say string type that I will take then I just make formatting. You see result is there. So, I want to take the result of this function in set result and I will display in a result. So, I say here that set result, it will display the string result. You see that string will return and result will go to this result and then I will display it. So, I display it after that and I say text is here and I say result is and here I say result. So that I want to display, you see, now problem is use state does not exist. So I declare this. So I say use state, save this. So use state will declare, you see result is coming here and down. So I uh, make some result formatting also. I say style equal to style dot, I say result. So here I create one more object, I say result, I do some formatting, I say font size is 30 and I say font weight is bold and I need to put comma here, that's why generating error. I save this, I make it formatting, you see result is coming here. So I have a font size 30 and font weight is bold and result is coming in bold format. Now, uh, whenever I will click on this button, so that button will call this add, add will pass some value and you remember that in this value we are passing and it will return some value as a string that I am getting here in this state variable and this result will display the result. So I click here and you see return sum equal to 90. So it is coming from here. So here I can say sum equal to this. And I refresh once again I press this and you see sum equal to 90. So there are three ways we learn here that without passing any argument with passing argument or returning a value. So these are the three conditions for a particular function or event to be fired by the child component like this in a functional component format. So this is the way to call uh, events or passing events as a props to the function in react native with typescript i think you understand now if you learn something please do subscribe thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check next video passing event as a props to class component also